Today the students of VNIT Nagpur is going to present a video about Bernoulli's principle and its application. Bernoulli's principle, the most significant basic rule that rules everything fluid is something known as Bernoulli's principle. Its boundaries are not known from all the way up in the sky, making aeroplanes fly to the ground, allowing us to be able to harness energy from the wind. Bernoulli's principle states that an increase in the speed of a fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease in pressure or a decrease in the fluid's potential energy. Or in other words, the total pressure is equal to the static pressure due to the weight of the air above plus the dynamic pressure due to the motion of air. So here's a simple experiment to show you how exactly Bernoulli's principle works around us just by using a hairdryer and a ping pong ball. Place the ping pong ball on the center of the hairdryer and switch the hairdryer to the lowest setting. So here we can see that the ball stays afloat. This is only due to the Bernoulli's principle that is based around air pressure. The ping pong ball stays in the column of air because the air that is coming from the hairdryer is faster than the air around the ball. Faster air means less air pressure, slower the air around it can cause higher pressure and result of this higher air pressure column, the ball stays afloat, thereby being a direct application of the statement of Bernoulli's. Note, this experiment was performed in conditions that are not ideal, hence the experiment's outcome was not perfect. Aerofoil an aerofoil is a term used to describe the cross-sectional shape of an object that, when moved through a fluid such as air, creates an aerodynamic force. Air that travels over the top surface of the aerofoil has to travel faster and thus gains dynamic pressure. The subsequent laws of static pressure creates a pressure difference between the upper and the lower surfaces, causing a lift. Windmills a windmill is a machine that converts the energy of the wind into rotational energy by means of vanes called sails or plates. A wind turbine operates on a simple principle. Energy from the moving air is caused by temperature and pressure differences in the atmosphere. Irradiance from the sun heats up the air, forcing the air to rise. Conversely, when the temperatures fall, a low pressure zone develops. This difference in pressure forces the blades to rotate. Aeroplane Wings In an aeroplane, the lift and the drag force are the main forces by which the aeroplane moves. The lift force is basically the force which directly opposes the weight of an aeroplane and holds the aeroplane in the air. Lift is generated by every part of aeroplane but most of the lift on a normal airline is generated by the wings. Drag force a force acting opposite to the relative motion of any object moving with respect to a surrounding fluid. Basically, when the airplane starts flying, the wings provide lift by creating a situation where the pressure above the wing is lower than the pressure below the wing. Since the pressure below the wing is higher than the pressure above the wing, there is a net force upward which keeps the aeroplane in a stabilized position and helps it in its flight. So hope you've enjoyed this video as much as we did making it and accumulated some knowledge about the Bernoulli's principle and its applications. Also, we take this opportunity to thank our beloved fluid mechanics professor, Mr. Sanchim Mandavgane, who guided us and gave us his inputs on our project.